Hey guys, welcome to Here Now Beauty. My name is Tanya and today I'm going to be your personal little guinea pig. I am currently doing some skincare change-ups at the moment, so um, I thought that instead of doing something like a mask or a moisturiser or something like that, that I would do an eye patch, because currently I don't have anything, um, I don't use any eye creams or anything to do with my eyes and they've been feeling quite eh. So I thought I would do this Patchology rejuvenating eye gel that I received in a past um, beauty subscription box and um, yeah if you're interested in seeing uh, how this goes stay tuned all right let's get started as I said before today we're going to do the patchology rejuvenating eye gels um, they call it flash patch so um, yeah, let's uh, have a little bit of a read first. Now, um, for all my American people, you can get these from patchology.com. I believe that you pick up um, 30 pairs for $50, I think it is. And um, for all my Aussie friends, uh, they sell them at Mecca. They sell them either um, uh, five pairs for, I wanna say $23. Hang on just a minute. Let me just have a quick look. Um, yeah, five packs of uh, five packs for twenty three dollars, or you can get ooh thirty a thirty pack for seventy six. So it roughly works out to be um, between two dollars forty and two dollars fifty for a set. So I guess that's not too bad. I uh, well yeah, it's pretty good in the scheme of things actually. I mean. I'll pay, you know, $5 for a regular face mask and up to $10 if it's like, right. Um, so I guess $2.50 isn't unreasonable. So um, let's have a little bit of a read first. Um, it says... Apply, take five and go. Place one pair of gels onto clean, dry under eye for five minutes or longer if desired. Discard after use and massage remaining serum into skin. In a single five minute use study with 100 participants, 100% said that tired eyes appeared awakened, revived and revitalized. 98% said that the skin under their eyes looked and felt smoother. 97% that their eye area looked less puffy. And 94% that said that one in five treatments provided more immediate results than their current under eye skin regimen. That sounds freaking good to me. Alright, before we get completely started, I just want to pre-warn you guys that occasionally when I get really excited about a product or really pissed off about a product, that occasionally I swear. So if you are watching with young children, please be aware that there's a possibility I may accidentally miss it while I'm editing and might forget to beep it out. So, let's get started. Alright, so I might just put my little tassels back and grab a drink of coffee first because this is thirsty work. Mm. Mmm, yum. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to rip her open. Ooh, a little bit moist. <laughs> alright, alright, come here. Come to mama. Alright, so it comes in this little, not quite sealed packet, but they tried. <laughs> yes, it is definitely very moist. Alright. Alright, whoa, she's slimy. She's slipperin'. Slipperin'? She's slippin'. Alright. There's lots of little filmy bits here, guys. So I'm having... Yeah, okay. I've, I've figured it out. Let's start. It's a little bit awkward. Alright, I'm going to have to use my viewfinder, guys. So bear with me that I don't stick this in my eyes. Hang on. Because that could be... Yeah, that's not bad placement, but I think we can go just a little bit higher. Just a little bit higher. I'll just pat that down. They feel so interesting. Uh, okay, uh, oops, I ran the wrong way, I think. My gosh. All right. Let's grab my trusty little mirror again. Yeah, I'll put her up there. Mm. Hmm. And there we go. She's on. Oh, I feel so weird. All right. So, we're supposed to leave this on for five minutes. Oof, it feels like it's actually in my eyes. It's not, but 
that's a very unique sensation. <laughs> All right, so as I said before, guys, we'll just have a little bit of a chat. It uh, says to leave them on for five minutes. It's one past 12 in the afternoon right now. So um, I will take them off at six past. Um, the reason why I didn't want to do any other sort of face mask or anything like that is because at the moment, my current skincare routine um, has a serum and it has a moisturizer. And for anybody who was watching before or already knows this, I was using the Ordinary Buffet Serum underneath um, the Clinique um, Dramatically Different uh, Lotion Plus Moisturizer. And that was, oh, it was phenomenal. Like, ah, uh, in love. No eczema, no dehydrated, no dry skin, no cracking, no flaking, anything perfect, right? But Although the price tag for the Ordinary, ordinary Buffet Serum is reasonable, um, I was kind of hoping that maybe I could substitute it out for one of their cheaper ones, uh, cheaper serums, which um, a lot of their serums are around about $12 to $15, whereas the Buffet Serum that I love is $23 to $25, depending on where you go or if it's on sale. Um, so I'm currently testing out the Ordinary Hyaluronic acid serum and um, I don't really, really want to use anything else in the meantime because I am I am testing it by day and how it feels in comparison to how I know that the buffet serum works for me. So that's the only reason why I haven't done any other masks. So I thought I could get away with an eye mask. It's not really going to affect too much because most of the areas that I do break out with eczema and um, troublesome spots on my face are either usually my forehead, in between my nose or around here. So. Although I really do want to start using masks soon, once again, I do have two masks that I do want to do a review on, which I could really use your help because I'm a Libra, what can I say? I can't make up my mind on a lot of things. And um, so I do have the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Water Boost 5 Minutes Reset Hydrodal Mask. Um, this one takes five minutes to do. I've been putting this one off because the other one, the one that takes 15 minutes, actually uh, broke me out in a rash. And although I got rid of it, it kind of left me a little bit intimidated. And the other one that I've got is the Garnier Skin Active Honey Mask Repairing... Re... Re... re I can't say that word. Anyway, this one here. So, um... Hey, leave me a message down below if you guys want to see one or the other. I'll be asking you guys on my Instagram accounts as well. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you would like to, here are all my socials or there. I've recently just changed the channel name, my channel name. So things are just sort of starting to get working. So anyway, I'd love to know which one would you like to see me do after I'm finished testing out the um, Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I am going to do that video for you guys, the Ordinary Buffet Serum versus the Ordinary Hyaluronic Serum, and I'll let you guys know how I feel about all of that, but I really do want to do one of these masks as well, so if you guys let me know down below, that'll be fantastic. So let me have a look at the time. We've only got a couple of minutes to go guys, and I've been gas bagging, so um, I can tell you right now this feels really, really cooling. I have no idea what it looks like under here, I don't want to have a look right now. I shouldn't have too many problems, I mean, I do have sensitive eyes, but I don't feel anything abnormal, so... Um, and these are not slipping. I've tried a few different eye gel masks, and normally they've slipped right down to here, and it's just absolutely annoying. I think I could probably... Yeah, no, these guys haven't slipped at all. I could probably go about my day and do housework and all these other things that I would normally do because I don't have a lot of time just to sit around, which is one of the reasons why I don't like doing masks in the first place. Like, it's not that I don't like doing masks, guys. I freaking love masks. But I don't have a lot of time just to sort of sit and chill and relax. So, you know, I'd rather sort of do multiple tasks at the same time. So if I could do something like this, as well as do the dishes, put a load of washing on, cook dinner, you know, provided that they don't fall out. Could you imagine one of these in your friggin' spaghetti bolognese? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, nah. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think I should ramble on too much more. This feels fantastic and they're not slipping, so I can already say that I definitely would love to get my hands on some more of these. I can tell you in a minute what it's going to be like once I take them off. And, um, yeah, if you're interested um, in finding out whether they feel any better tomorrow, I'll check in with me on Instagram tomorrow and, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So what time have we got? Here we go. 12.06. Alright, let's get these guys off. Now, if I recall, it said that we just massage the remaining serum in. Yep, discard after use and massage remaining serum into the skin. Alright, let's go, guys. Feels like I could have had them on so much longer, but we'll just follow the rules. Mm -hmm. 
No rash, that's a bonus. Very easy to take off and just massage. There's not exactly a lot of um, serum left in, so you really don't need to do too much. And just be gentle, guys, when you're playing around with the under eyes that you don't push too hard. You could damage the soft tissue underneath your eyes. Hmm. That feels really good. Now, I can't exactly tell you whether it's done anything for me or not, but I can't see it doing anything really bad. My under eyes feel great. In fact, actually, I, I, I want to say that it's reduced, definitely reduced some puffiness because I've normally got some serious puffiness under my eyes. It's normally really dark under there. Um, yeah. Maybe it's a placebo effect, but I'm pretty damn sure that the puffiness is gone and um, they feel fantastic. So, yeah, I think I might actually um, invest in some of these and try them on a bit more of a long-term base and see if I can get some better results as well. Because, um, like I said, I have tried a few different types of um, under-eye uh, gel-like masks, so to speak, and none of them have been as comfortable or felt as good as these, and um, yeah, I can definitely say that there's definitely been some reduced puffiness there, so, hmm, well, there you go. I really do want to buy or test out some under eye serums, under eye creams or anything like that. I've never had an eye serum or an eye cream or anything like that that visibly showed me any, you know, difference, and I mean, obviously this here, I feel personally that the puffiness have reduced. I've not found that in a formula, in a serum, an oil, a whatever, a cream for my under eyes. So if you guys can recommend anything, if you've got like a ride or die under eye cream, um, particularly for sensitive eyes uh, or sensitive skin, so to speak, um, let me know below and uh, I'll look into it. And um, yeah, you guys, if you liked what you saw and you wanted to see more or you're interested in seeing any of these masks that I'm going to be doing or the um, video that I plan on doing about the ordinary serums, go ahead and um, hit that subscribe button. But uh, like I always say, don't forget that if you want to be alerted every time that I upload a video, which isn't that often, but I'm hoping to do it more, um, don't forget to check that bell and um, that will alert you any time that I do a video. And uh, if you like what you saw, feel free to give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. And um, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for stopping by guys. If you guys want to see some more, go ahead and uh, check out my playlists. There's a lot there to choose from and I'm doing my best to fill it up with even more content that you guys want to see. Feel free to check out all my other social medias and uh, drop me a line on what you'd like to see more of because I would love to know what you guys are interested in.